Today, we'll learn about stalls. What a stall is, how to get into one, and most importantly, how to recover. Fly straight and level while I brief the maneuver. Hold a heading of 090 degrees at 6,500 feet at 100 knots. Stall is a dangerous situation in which the wing no longer generates lift, causing the airplane to fall. Stall occurs when the wing's angle of attack, or the position of the wing relative to the airflow, becomes so great that it prevents the air from traveling smoothly over the top of the wing. This can happen at any speed, but it's most often associated with flying too slowly. It's particularly dangerous when you're at a low altitude, like during a takeoff or landing. Luckily, once you know what to watch out for, stalls can be easily avoided. And recovering from one is simple. A stall warning horn also gives you an audible cue that you've stalled. To recover from a stall, simply move the yoke forward and simultaneously apply full power. This action is called the standard stall recovery. Set up, pull the power back to idle. Do this now. Gradually raise the nose to maintain altitude as the airspeed decreases. You're high. Descend to 6,500 feet. I want to see you stay within 100 feet of 6,500. Fully extend the flaps as if you were landing. 85 knots, drop the flaps. Remember to keep raising the nose to maintain this altitude. Keep bringing the nose up to hold this altitude. There's the stall. Recover. Retract the flaps one notch. Now completely raise the flaps. Good. Airspeed and a clean, full-power climb is the antidote to a stall. The measure of a good stall recovery is how little altitude is lost. How far below 6,500 feet did you go? Here's our altitude. Fly straight and level at 6,500 feet and 100 knots to complete your recovery. Okay, let's try it again. Recovering from a stall should become second nature. When you're ready, pull the power to idle. At the stall, lower the nose and apply full power to recover. Then ease into a climb and remove one notch of flaps. Lower the flaps completely to simulate an approach to landing. Pulling back, we should stall nose high. Keep the nose up as long as you can. There's the stall. Recover. Okay, now pitch for 75 knots to climb back to altitude. Turn to 6,500 feet at 75 knots. Fully retract the flaps. I like it when my students perform all the required actions without needing a reminder. During a stall, time lost is altitude lost. Here's our altitude. Fly straight and level at 6,500 feet and 100 knots to complete your recovery. quickly you can recover this time. Go ahead and pull the power to idle. Keep bringing the nose up to hold this altitude. There's the stall. Recover. 
Fully retract the flaps. Pitch for the best climb speed of 75 knots. Whenever you find yourself in the stall, remember to drop the nose, then power up, clean up, and climb out. Here's our altitude. Fly straight and level at 6,500 feet and 100 knots to complete your recovery. job. It looks like you can handle the stall pretty well. Well, it looks like you're getting the hang of this. If you stall, just remember, yoke forward and apply full power.